A cannon ball is fired horizontally from the top of a cliff. The cannon is at height h is equal to 50 meters above ground level and the ball is fired with initial horizontal speed v0. Assume acceleration due to gravity to be 9 g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. Assume that the cannon is fired at time t is equal to 0 and that the cannon ball hits the ground at time tg. What is the y position of the cannon ball at the time tg by 2? Given that the projectile lands at a distance d is equal to 130 meters from the clip as shown in the figure, find the initial speed of the projectile v0. What is the y position of the cannon ball when it is at a distance d by 2 from the hill? If you need to, you can use the trajectory equation for this projectile, which gives y in terms of x directly. And the formula is given to us. Now let us try to do the problem. Here the cannon is resting at a height of 50 meters and the ball falls 50 meters. So therefore the dip r y is equal to r y naught is equal to 50 meters. Okay. And then it is falling down. So I will put the negative sign. Okay. And then A is equal to G is equal to 9.8. And that also I will take negative 9.8 meters per second square. And then initial velocity VI is equal to 0 meters per second. And then I will take, I have to find out the time T is equal to question mark. I use the equation Y is equal to VIT plus half a t square to find the time t. So here y is negative 50 is equal to 0 plus half into negative 9.8 times t square. Therefore t square is equal to negative 50 divided by negative 4.9 that gives 10.20. Therefore t is equal to 3.9 one nine seconds or then t by 2 he is uh, this is uh, we have to find out at t by 2 the position of the cannon ball at t by 2 so the t by 2 is equal to 3.19 by 2 is equal to 1.59 seconds okay now we will use this this time to find out the position. So therefore y is equal to vit is that is 0 plus half negative 9.8 times 1.59 square. That gives y is equal to negative 12.46 meters. Okay. And then we have to find out uh, this is the new position and then the original position is 50 and then we have to find out the uh, position when it is uh, 50 uh, t by 2. Okay. So 50 minus this one gives the actual value from the top. Okay. So this fall, the fall is 12.46 meters from here, the uh, top one, uh, the ball fall 12.46. So how much distance is uh, above from that uh, ground? So the, from the ground, it is 37 and odd. Okay, 50 minus, no. From ground, this is from uh, top. From top, the wall is at this position, 12.46 meters, the new position. From ground, it is 50 minus 12.46. That is equal to 37 point three meters. Okay. And the next part is the second bit is finding the initial velocity. To find the initial velocity, that to x, x component velocity, he is asking us to find out. So to find the x component velocity, v i x is equal to x component displacement over time, d by t. And then here d is equal to 130 meters. Therefore, v i x is equal to 130 divided by time we just found out as 3.19 uh, seconds. So, divided by 3.19 gives the initial velocity that is 40.75 meters per second. Okay. Next bit is 
finding the position when the cannon draw uh, travels a distance of horizontal distance of d by 2 okay we have to find out the y position by the time the cannon ball travels a horizontal distance of d by 2 for that he already given the formula so we will find out that one y is equal to 50 minus 9.8 and then x is new position new position is d by 2 so d by 2 is equal to 150 um, 130 130 divided by 2 is equal to 65 so here i use that one 65 square divided by 2 times uh, 40.75 square I'm using this formula. Therefore, y is equal to 37.53 meters. This is the new position. This is the answer for this one. And then uh, this is the answer for the second one. This, this is equal to 40.75 meters per second. And this is equal to the answer for this one is equal to 37.53 meters. Okay, these are the three answers for the uh, question. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.